Bruce the Moose finally just... appears on uh, my no. YouTube video. No. Love your glasses, mate. No, You're Chris, rocking it. Rocking do you mind? Everyone can, knows can, it already. We need to get one late. thing. Too late. One thing straight. No. Before we start. Yep. I am not actually a moose. I'm not. Yes, he is. Not. Look what he carries in his car. I don't care. Oh, it's oh, shit. too late now. We all got oh, yeah. the <laughs> Yep, that's it. Right. Here we go, adventure. We're going on the road trip. Yay. Yay. <laughs> right. So we are now going to Horizons Unlimited. Uh, in where? Uh, to Nakas, British Columbia. Right, and it's BC. about uh, five and a half hours from now down the Trans Canada Highway. Right, so we are not riding bikes because we don't have bikes. Well, only Bruce got a bike, so uh, Tony Kai and I, we don't have bikes, so we're all going in the car. We're leaving beautiful Alberta. Bruce showed the Alberta. Nice. Nice, and we've nice. got the very famous Cascade Mountain. We're not going to turn around, are we, on that? <laughs> okay, what? all right. That's it, end of the intro for our road trip. Cut! Yes, my dolls. Going, where is our first stop? It's going to be Lake Louise. And oh, yeah, that's right. Amongst the thousands, literally, of most beautiful places in the world, of which there are thousands, this has got to be in the top 20, top 10, top 5. I still can't get over his glasses. <laughs> so that's Cascade Mountain, and it's Cascade just sits. Not Eat sitting. your carrot first, Rose. I, 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 want to, I want to add something. Yes? I'm being picked on by two women with bleach blonde haircuts. That's yeah. right, you have no chance here, no I, chance. I just, I just Your life is so tough, darling. <laughs> right, so we made it to Lake Louise. Morning, everyone. Morning, morning. We were right, right, you have to show your face today because you were at the back of the car, no one could see you. You were sitting quietly Honestly. while Bruce the Moose was driving. And Just Bruce chucked in the back, you know, <laughs> like a piece of luggage. And Bruce Lemus is now parking, so we are waiting for him. And we, yes, so we are like, this is our start of our little uh, adventure at Lake Louise. <laughs> so this is the starting point. And now we're going to walk to see the lake. Wow, this looks crowded. But apparently this is, this is actually not crowded at all compared to normal days. <laughs> we, uh, we managed to get a parking spot in like the first parking lot. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce, hold it still. <laughs> All right, this is the moose thing. <laughs> That's all you've got? <laughs> hey, T, go back. Oh, my God. Did you get it? Wave at the end? Oh, yeah. I don't wave. You want me to keep people away? <laughs> I think we're going to use this opportunity to do finally a little interview with you guys. Okay, so are you ready? Go for it. So we actually go way back. We met for the first time in, in Germany, but uh, even when we were actually at the same time in Africa, we didn't get to meet, and then we met in Germany, and now we're meeting again. So guys, uh, tell me how long, because you are world travelers as well, at the moment you, you, you live here in Canada, but tell me about your travels. What have you we done for the last... on 18 March 2020, and we paused 29 December 2021. So we went uh, through Europe and uh, South Africa and we've come to Canada and we live in Canmore. And what bikes are you riding on your world tour? Uh, we've hit several. Uh, 
216 GSA, uh, 217 GS Rally. Uh -huh. You've got 1200, uh -huh. an F800 in Joburg, and an F650 in Joburg, and I've got an R90S that's coming in. And here we've got. Uh, just got a V Strom 650. We got a. I just regret I asked this question. Okay, right. Uh, let, let's just keep it short, Bruce. Right. Okay. Uh, I want to ask you about your background because I know it's a long story and complicated situation. But okay, let's try to. Yeah. Uh, what is your background, Tanika? Okay, so I was gonna let do this in 30 seconds. Yes. Born in South Africa, lived 10 years in the UK, then immigrated to New Zealand, and now living in Canada and traveling the world. Woohoo! The way to go. And Bruce the Moose? I was born in Toronto, moved to New Zealand, Auckland in 1986, worked there until nine, uh, 2020, and traveling the world, and now traveling North America, South America. The way to go. So I know because you guys came back here because of the you know all the restrictions and you know you couldn't go through the Asia, so you decided to yeah. come here for a little bit and you made yourself pretty much Kenmore is your home. Uh, but what are your plans for coming years? So uh, probably this year we'll just explore Canada. Uh, it's a big country. There's lots to do, um, and the season's really short. Uh -huh. Kinga, uh -huh. notice the season's really short. Um, so we'll do Canada, and then after that we'll probably head down through the states and into South America. And then who knows? We're going to meet again, I'm sure. <laughs> well, guys, uh, you know I spent with you a week now. Yes, and it was such a pleasure to to, to see you and to to have this quality time with you, and you know to get over my jet lag and you know to deal with. All all this drama in past days so thank you so much for oh, your support and your hospitality it's been such a pleasure to have you stay with us we've had a lot of fun this week we did i i do have a few things to teach you about tidying up around the house this we'll is get... so not true <laughs> <laughs> bruce the moose is making it up again again it's right awesome. okay let's just keep uh, yeah cool. keep trying keep rolling let's yeah back on the road to our uh, fun car exactly high five, bruce. Oh. <laughs> yeah, high five. High five. High five. Always look on the bright side of life Wherever you fall At your feet You let your tears Rain down on me First break, I mean second break where are we now? We've stopped at the Canadian institution that is <laughs> Tim Hortons. It's like Starbucks, but just cooler and in Canada. And Canadian, see? Dum, 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 dum. Okay, Look see. at this. <laughs> what do we have? We got the cruller. We've got the Today's chocolate wine. cream. The best. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, let me try. Let me try my very first one. I'm gonna go with. With Good choice. Mm. I'm definitely have a chocolate with you, I I'm not gonna have one right oh now. Oh my god. So good, but so bad. <laughs> uh, this is what they're famous for. They're famous for the chocolate cream. Uh -huh. There's a reason. Why? Because it, it's, 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 got, it's oh. got the cream in it. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. With somebody, with somebody who loves me. We made it! Our trip is over! Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Where are we? Nakast! Nakast! Nakast, Nakast. We're not roughing it. We're gonna stay at the hotel, we're gonna get changed, and we're gonna go to Horizons. Yes! And, and, uh, wait a second. Thank you did, so much for driving. Bing, bing! Did you, Woo, we did made it! We didn't staying, die. Did you say we're staying at the Hilton? <laughs> yes, we're staying at the, at Hilton, the Hilton Inn. Nakast. <laughs> it's just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is our hotel. We've got some bikers at the parking. Tough guys, tough guys like us. <laughs> In the Honda Fit. Yeah. <laughs> we made it to the event. I mean, the weather is miserable. But there are like, yeah, there are a lot of tough people. Look at all this lineup. All these guys. Not like us in the car. <laughs> Yeah.
This is a very special moment because I'm about to introduce you guys with the founders of Horizons Unlimited. And you have these events all over the place, all over the world. But to meet these guys, it's, it's, it's a really very rare situation. And I think you hear pretty much very... Is that where the very first one was held? The very first one was in the UK. This was the second one. Second one. Right. How many years ago was the second one here? 2002. So Long 20 time. Years. 20 years next year. So this is Grant and Susan who created Horizons Unlimited. Uh, could you please tell me, what is the purpose of Horizons Unlimited? Connecting travelers. Right from the very beginning, our whole concept was to help other travelers figure out how to travel and go places and just connect them so that they can share information. Absolutely. And you started it a very long time ago, before Facebook, before all this, you know, social media was happening. So uh, did before you start... The exactly. Right before the internet, right? Almost, yeah. yeah. But you, no, you started with the website first, yes. right? Christmas 97, the website went live in Ushuaia, Argentina. Wow. So are you, you have, a, I understand you have IT background. Yeah, somewhat of an IT background. I'm, I'm a whole sure lot you do. Of, I've learned a lot. I mean, I'm sure, like, you know, it's a brilliant page you've created and it's so helpful. Like, it helps everyone. If you need any information about overland traveling, like, you find it there. There's always a topic and there's so much information there. And when, so you created a website first, and when did you decide to do the meetings? Well, we were living in England at the time, and that was 2001, and then somebody, we had to go back home to Canada because Susan's mother wasn't doing well. So we said to everybody, we're going to have a going away party in our backyard. Uh -huh. in England, you know, a little tiny standard right. UK backyard. People came from as far away as Norway wow. for a weekend. We filled up our backyard, the neighbor's backyard. At the moment, how much work you ha you put on daily basis Me? to keep full both time. of you I full time? I put in full time, Susan's part time. Wow. And we have an assistant helping out a little bit too. And, and this year, uh, how many events are you planning to attend? We're locked down, obviously, because of the pandemic. Um, so last year we only did uh, about five, and the year before about two. But uh, we're back up around 11 this year. Okay. The top that we've ever done in one year is 25. In 15 um, countries. In 15 countries. but Do you still, like, are you, oh, this is my question, because I know how much work, I can only imagine how much work uh, that includes. Do you feel sometimes that you don't, just don't want to do it anymore? Sometimes. Mm, every once in a while. It's but it's very rewarding, right? Yeah. Oh. The, the, the reward, mm. the, the fact that we've changed people's lives. Yes. We get people coming to us and say, that was amazing. Mm. We're going on a big trip or something like that. And they come back from the trip and says, wow, that was mm. the best thing ever. Yeah. Absolutely life changing. Absolutely. That's the reward. Yeah. Getting people out. And they not just change their lives, but they've learned about the world and other people in yes. the world. Mm. They've made that connection with somebody in some country that they always thought was a terrible, dangerous place. Yes. And it's not. No. And that changes things. Oh. That's important. On behalf of all of us world travelers, I would love to, to thank you. Thank you. Very nice <laughs> so, to have you here. Thank nice you so you much. Great thank to you have so you. much. I forgot to ask you the most important question. Are you still traveling? When we can, as much as we can. Right. And Not that would be... Right now, but we're working on it. But would be that just leaving the house and going through overland through Af Americas, or you actually ship your bike somewhere and you do, you know? Currently, we're not shipping. Yeah, because we, of the COVID, you couldn't. Yeah, because of COVID. Mm. But we've gone to Africa for our travelers meeting, for instance, and <sighs> we ride around for a week or two in South Africa. So good. Fantastic. So good. Are you ready for a little good. interview? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to use this opportunity to introduce you because, yes, we sort of go way back, but we just met. It's we, a complicated situation. First time we've met. Yes, we've met, but we go way back. We did. We just tried to track it down. Uh, yes, the whole history. But Neville is a world traveler and he, for many years, you were involved in Horizons Unlimited. Hold on, I'm going to swap the camera now so I can full interview with you. Tell me about your travels. How long you've been a world traveler? Well, and where, where, yes. where, let's start. Where are you originally from? Well, I'm originally from the southwest of England uh -huh. and uh, grew up motorcycling there. Uh, and then, yes, decided not long after I was eligible to start working, I'd quit my first job and put a backpack on and go away and hitchhike and travel as, as much as I could mm -hmm. and then uh, combined that with motorcycling because I've motorcycled all of my life basically mm -hmm. and uh, that just turned into yeah throwing a set of bags on a motorcycle doesn't matter what it was yeah. I'm just going and traveling like that um, for how many from, years did you travel over on? Uh, on and off a couple of years around the states mm -hmm. Canada and then uh, after that wound up being a dad bringing mm -hmm. up a family did short journeys, short travels, and then uh, in 2009 I had a stroke. 
uh, that completely changed things and eventually I just said that what I'm going to do is uh, if I ever get out of the hospital I'm going to uh, live my life the fullest I'm going to go and, go and uh, ride around the world uh, why we go way back because we're thinking it was 2016 yeah. maybe 15, yeah it might have been earlier yes so yes so you came up with this idea that at the horizons unlimited we're going to, you guys going to go this nine minute Motor film, film festival. Motor film festival. Yeah. Right. And you contacted me. Can you cut, <laughs> cut down your, your videos from Australia and send me nine minutes? It's like, sure. Yeah. And I won. She won the competition. She actually, the right here. <laughs> yes. So she won the competition and uh, she won a trophy. She won a t shirt and she won a cup. And I haven't given it to her yes. yet. So <laughs> one day. One day. <laughs> so Not soon. today again. Not today. Mm, that's okay. I didn't, bring next it. Time, next I didn't time, know you were next coming. Time. Okay. <laughs> so. This is the campground. We have a beautiful weather today. Right, so, so this is a modified bike. Yeah. So let's see what he's got. So who, who rides it? Uh, his name's Fabian. Uh -huh. I just met him today, actually. Right. I heard a lot about him, but he's got a diesel, a, a diesel uh, water pump engine. He's put in this uh, in this in, in this Royal Enfield. Wow. What well, diesel water pump engine? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> right? It is amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. And he's travelled. He's, this has been on the road for seven years, from what I understand. Wow. I mean, I'm just coming in on, the, on this. This I, must I be so today, awkward so. when he pulls out like diesel, please, at the petrol station. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just a small tank, but he can go a long way on it. So. So, these two bikes belongs to local Canadian legends, and I will interview them later on. They're having. Um, a presentation a little bit later on but i'm going to just have a picture with jeremy's back how's that looks pretty good <laughs> uh, and, and then we managed uh, to get you... yes 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 right, there, look. <laughs> okay didn't have to wait too long the guys rocked up so now i'm going to do a little interview with you Two legends from Canada, recent. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, right. Okay, I'm gonna switch switch the camera now. So nice to meet you finally. I've heard so much about you, so I'm glad we, you know, we got to meet. I was in your town. She's I... heard about us. Yes, we've been course. following you. Oh, mm. thank you so much. Uh, tell me about your recent travels because soon, in like in like a couple of hours, you're gonna have presentation. Yes. Are you nervous? I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit <laughs> conflicted. Yes, mm, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure you're going to kill it. I'm looking forward to it. So tell me what, what the presentation will be about, about, about your recent travels, right? Tonight we're doing our presentation on Canada to Argentina, which we did in 2019, 2020, until COVID happened and got us stuck. Right. How long did that take you? We were planning to be gone for a year. We traveled for seven months out of that year, and then we were stuck in Uruguay for five months. Right. 13 months, yeah. And you live in Kenmore, mm -hmm. Canada is your home, so pretty much yes. if you travel, you always return there, right? Yes. How long do you have your bikes? Are this they bike well? is my bike. She's a 2013, and the first trip I ever took her was here to HU at Nacasp a few years ago. <laughs> and, oh, wow. How, uh, many, uh, how many years are you riding? She's been to Central America and back twice, Alaska, mm -hmm. and then to Argentina. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Jeremy's bike. You've and always Jeremy's bike. Uh, yeah, I, always. I cycle through KLRs. They're like uh, disposable motorcycles. Yes. <laughs> on one hand, they don't break down very often, uh, yeah. but on the other hand, you can just jettison them if they do. For sure. What are your plans for the future? What's next? We're saving think, money. Yeah. yeah, work and save money so we can travel again sure. someday. But I think we need to do South America again. Would you agree? Oh yeah, definitely. We've, like, we've missed so much. So of yeah. course. The surface. So of course, seven's not enough. Like mm -hmm. you need to, like a few years in South America it, to that actually. That would be nice. Yeah. You know, like I've been, I've been three years in Africa and I only did the East Coast. Right? <laughs> <You know? laughs> One, two, three. Smile. <laughs> Hold on, it was a video. Tell you, you leave your campsite for just a few moments <laughs> and chaos erupts.